brand new from Traxxas. This is their new Fiesta ST rally car. Now, when I see this thing announced, I knew I wanted one. And that's because I think it looks really cool. Now, there's two versions available. There's the VXL version, and then there's this one that I've gone for, which is the BL2S version. Now, this comes with a fully licensed body. You can get it in red, or you can also get it in blue. But if you go for the VXL one, you can actually get that in green, and you can get it in orange. Now, looking at this from the outside, Yes, it does look slightly more basic compared to some of the other RC rally cars out there, but it still looks really good. Apart from the hard plastic rear wing, there's not really a lot more going on. Although I do have to say the wheels on this do look really good and I think they complement the color scheme nicely. Now you may have noticed there's no body clips and that's because it does feature a clipless body system. And that is something we're seeing more and more when it comes to new RC cars. So this is how we remove the body. All we need to do is release the four clips. It's easier said than done with one hand. Right, I've done that side and now this side. Of course, this is a lot easier when you're not holding a camera. Now I'm gonna to have to put the camera down and do it. And it is simple enough when you're using two hands. Now that's what it looks like underneath. This does feel very rigid. And obviously it slides into there and there, and you're good to go. So we've got the body off. Let's take a look at some of the chassis features on this. Now, of course, this does feature a low CG chassis and that chassis is very low to the ground. Now, of course, that's gonna give us really good stability, but how is that gonna perform off-road? And I actually think it's gonna get stuck in a few areas. So we have really nice oil field adjustable shocks front and rear and as you would expect this is four-wheel drive and down there We can see the center drive shaft and this also features a slipper clutch Of course it has metal diffs and ball bearings throughout and the battery tray is a decent size and there's no body clips here This also features a clipless system. The tires feel nice. They're kind of like a medium to firm compound Hopefully they'll be nice and grippy both on-road and off-road now of course Traxxas did release a Fiesta ST rally car in the past but this one has some upgrades so of course this is the new version and this is a little bit different to the one they released in the past because this one has a whole list of upgrades this one now has heavy duty drive shafts steel wheel hexes caster blocks and steering blocks heavy duty suspension arms larger bearings all round and of course it's also got upgraded shock towers now this also has the upgraded electronics no more xl5 this is their new two brushless system here we have a 3300 kv brushless motor and the xl5 system was included in a lot of the lower end cars that they offer this is now going to be the norm now i never owned one of the old fiesta st rally cars but out of the box it was painfully slow it's still part of the video 16 oh, no god no god please no 16 16 wow. Hopefully this setup is a bit quicker out the box on 2S as brushless systems are more powerful, they're more efficient and they deliver power better compared to the old school brush systems. So the electronics on this are completely waterproof and that also includes the servo. We'll see how the servo performs later but I have a feeling it's going to be quite slow. So we don't get a huge amount in the box, you will need to provide your own battery and charger. Now transmitter wise this is the TQ radio system. This thing's been around for years. I'd like to see an update because I'm not a massive fan of these. Now that said, you do get a foam grip on the wheel. The only adjustment here is steering trim. It will need four AA batteries to get you up and running. Also in the box, we've got some warranty information, some shock preload spacers, and a color manual. And that is pretty much it. Now being a Traxxas, of course this isn't as cheap as you might like. Let's talk about cost. Now this version, the BL2S version, it currently costs £349 in the UK, or $329 in the US. The VXL costs £449 or $429. So for an extra £100 or $100, you could go for the VXL version. And that will offer more flexibility out the box because it is 2S and 3S ready. Now, if you don't want to spend the extra money, I think this is going to perform okay for most people. And if you wanted to, you could upgrade later. So let's get the body back on and let's see how fast it goes. But before we do that, would you like to win this car? Recently, I did a trial run over on Raffle. I wanted to give people the chance to win some of the cars I feature on my channel. Now at first this decision didn't really go down well but a lot of people were supportive and it actually
actually turned out really well. And Stuart Turner, who won the Rolalo Omni Terminator, he was certainly very happy with his new truck. So if you want to help support the channel and have a chance at winning this new Fiesta ST, head over to Raffle at the end of this video. Just like last time, I will be capping tickets, so you will have a much better chance at winning. Good luck if you do take part, and thank you once again for supporting the channel. So of course, we need to see how fast this car goes right out the box on 2S. The steering servo is not too bad, actually. Right, so let's start the GPS. Let's see how fast it goes on 2S. Now we've got a lovely sunny day today, which is very rare in the UK. Let's see how fast we can go with this new Traxxas Fiesta ST Rally. That's full throttle. Those tires are gripping nicely. What are we gonna see out of this right out the box on 2S? I'm really excited to find out I hope it's faster than 16 miles per hour, which is what the old one used to do. That will be a bit disappointing. Right, let's bring it back. Let's see what we got. So we're going to hit stop and read. We've got 24 miles per hour, so it's a bit faster than the old version. It's still not massively quick, but out the box on 2S, yeah, 24 is not bad. So 24 is not too bad, but how will it perform off-road? I think you will have to be a little bit picky about where you choose to run one of these. Nothing too challenging, and it's stuck. Well, I don't think it can handle anything too bumpy. As you can see here, the ground clearance just isn't there. Now, one of the biggest things we need to talk about is the power system. How does this compare to the old XL5 system? Well, I definitely prefer the power delivery of this. I have used quite a few Traxxas cars with the old system and it was starting to feel outdated, but this definitely feels like we're in 2024 now and not in 1980. It definitely feels a lot smoother. Handling feels really good. And this is a very bumpy surface over here. With quite a few big rocks around, but it's performing okay. Now, of course, this is a rally car, so there's not going to be a huge amount of ground clearance, but it still does a very good job. Now I do like this car a lot, but I can't help but feel that I would like the VXL better. I think having the 3S power would definitely make this car more fun. Now, if you do go down this route, of course, you can upgrade later. You could fit a hobby wing system to this, and that would definitely liven it up. But out the box performance really isn't too bad. So there we go then, that was the new Traxxas Fiesta ST rally car. Overall, not too bad, although it did feel slightly underpowered. I think the new brushless system is a lot nicer compared to the old XL5 system. That was starting to get a bit old, and I'm glad Traxxas have gone down this route. Now that said, it still only achieved 24 miles per hour out the box on 2S, 
which is considered pretty slow. Now I think the first step to take would be to fit a 3S ready brushless system. I think that is what this car needs. And if you're going to do that pretty much as soon as you get it out the box, you may as well just get the VXL version. And of course that will depend on your budget. £450 for the VXL version, that is a lot of money. Now if this is all sounding just a little bit too expensive, I do have a really cool alternative. You may remember it from last year and it's from Maverick. Now this is quite a bit cheaper than the VXL rally car. Okay, so it doesn't have an officially licensed body. Some people even say it's quite ugly to look at, but it certainly performs well and it's also 4S ready out the box. If this Traxxas rally car is way out of budget for you, definitely consider the Maverick. Let me know in the comments section what you think of the new Traxxas Fiesta ST rally car. Don't forget if you want to win this car, you can head over to raffle straight after this video and grab a couple of tickets cheers for watching see you on the next one take care if you're looking for your next rc rally car but this is just a bit too expensive here are two really cool alternatives